So with the big success that Disney Marvel had this past summer, with Deadpool and Wolverine grossing over $1.3 billion at the box office. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not going to change anything with the MCU as far as stories go, because this isn't really going to tie into anything they have planned in the next couple of years. But you would think that with the success of Deadpool and Wolverine, um... Marvel would follow that up with something that could potentially be another hit. Well, <laughs> Disney Marvel being Disney Marvel, they snatched the jaws of victory right out of the mouth. I know I said that wrong, but I don't care. So tomorrow... September the 18th, we have the premiere of Agatha All Along. I think the first two episodes are dropping tomorrow. And gotta say, didn't they see what happened to the Acolyte? I mean, who is Agatha All Along made for? Because it doesn't appear that it's made for the, just the general audience abroad as a whole. It appears that this movie is made for a specific, um, a specific targeted audience. And we all know what happened to the Acolyte. The audience of the Acolyte, the ones that are still, you know, going to change.org and signing a petition, the ones that are still whining and crying, trying to get it uh, uncanceled by Disney. The ones that say, well, I like the show because I can see myself in the show that I'm represented. Well, those of you that like the Acolyte, then Agatha All Along is going to be for you. This is from Bounding Into Comics. Agatha All Along star claims show will be a new chapter for Marvel's queer representation. I do think there's a lot of queerness in witches. What? According to Sasha Zamata, Disney Plus's upcoming entry, Agatha All Along will be a new chapter in LGBT representation for Marvel. The star makes the connection via witches and other communities historically finding themselves on the outside of society throughout the centuries. Whether that drive will affect the quality of the show overall is anyone's guess, though this wouldn't be the first push for Marvel. So we're comparing the plight of witches in the, what, 16, 1700s in Salem to the LGBTQ community? You know, last time I checked, I didn't see members of the LBGTQ community being rounded up like witches were during the time of the Salem witch trials. It's just me. I don't know. Uh, this is from that Park Place. Agatha Long actor Joe Locke claims that a misconception about Marvel is that it's just for like straight white men. It's not. Oh. Dude. Comics are for everybody. These shows should be for everybody. These shows should be made for everybody everybody not just a little certain swath of audience in an interview with paul mcguire grimes alongside a number of his cast members Locke was asked there's a line about patty that patty says about misconceptions and rumor mongering with witches so what do you think about some misconceptions about marvel he replied that it's just like straight for like just straight white men. It's not. And Grimes responded, correct. It's not. Wow. You want to talk about. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to give me an answer and I'm just going to agree with your answer. Wow. So 
So in this article at that park place, which again, Agatha long actor Joe Locke reiterates his character is gay and mocks Marvel fans. He asserts that he internalized homophobia. The show never shies away from his, from his queerness. But it's not a defining feature of his character. It's just one layer of him as a person. It's pre previously revealed by Rolling Stones, AK's Alistair James, that Locke's character was gay. James wrote, and what a familiar territory for Locke, Tina identifies as gay. Locke also told James, the way it's explored in the show is very truthful and very positive. His sexuality is just one part of the character. See, I got no problem with that. Is it integral to the story? That's, that's, what, that's what the question is. Is sexual orientation integral to the story? Yes or no? If you're doing it just to push a message, then no. And that's what it appears here, is that they're doing it just to push a message. This isn't stepping into any Marvel project. Joe Young, queer icon that he is, was joining a cast of queer icons. Locke also responded to criticism of the character following the first trailer. He said, it was like, oh, why has Marvel done this campy gay stereotype? It really annoyed me because I was like, you can't ask for authentic casting and then be upset if you have a cap character. I'm fully aware that the Marvel fandom is far less nice than the Heartstopper fandom. There's going to be a lot of people that just hate everything about the character and everything about what I've done with it. I just have to be okay with that. He then marked Marvel fans by saying Marvel fans are very open with their opinions, but they're not in a Marvel show. So I'm doing the one thing that they really wish they could be doing. Sorry. So your take on this is. I'm doing this and you're not. So na 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 na. You wish you could do this, and I've got the privilege that I'm doing this. Are you kidding? Earlier in the article, Locke claimed that he had internalized homophobia while discussing casting opportunities at his and his desire to play non-gay characters. Locke shared that he wants to prove to himself that he's not a one-trick pony, who is just a guy from Heartstopper which in and of itself is maybe a problem with the industry or a problem with me and my internalized homophobia. I don't know. Again, the internalized homophobia. This is just another one in a long line of shows on Disney that is attempting not to only normalize homosexuality and sodomy, but confirms the show will be just another humiliation ritual. This is Acolyte 2.0, but instead of Lucasfilm, it's Marvel. So here we have Aubrey Plaza reacting to being called the gayest Marvel project yet. In the first episode, but Agatha is the gayest Marvel project yet. Do you agree? I, it better be, because that's, that's what I signed up for. Um, I think it is. <laughs> Sound familiar, folks? Remember the Acolyte was the gayest Star Wars? Here's another quick little snippet. Is the gayest project Marvel has ever done. Is the gayest project Marvel has ever done. Just ask the question. You don't have to emphasize it. Really? I would agree with that, yeah. Why is it? You'll see. You'll yeah. see when you watch it. But, you know, I think witches are queer inherently just yeah. because we are outcast and, like, set aside for many reasons. And I think this show shows a really good representation of different types of people and that we can all use the power we have in it within to, like, go forth and, and be great.
Witches are queer inherently. So just so everybody knows that the review embargo for Agatha all along lifts when the show airs, which is going to be tomorrow. And a lot of reviewers have seen the first four episodes. Now, if you, just like with the Acolyte, if you believe the reviewers, Agatha all along called bewitching and first rave first reviews of new Marvel show. Agatha all along first reactions, Catherine Hahn's Marvel return hailed as bewitching, deliciously devious and bats shit crazy in all the right kinds of ways. Marvel's Agatha All Along critics hail perfect show and Ray first reviews. Keep in mind, these are the same people that refuse to review Am I Racist? Matt Walsh's documentary. Why did they refuse to review it? Because it didn't meet their ideology, their politics. Whereas this, it would not surprise me when Rotten Tomatoes drops their tomato meter it would not surprise me if this show gets probably a 98 or 99 fresh for the critic score. I'm just guessing, but it wouldn't surprise me. Now over on Reddit, and yes, I know this is Reddit. This is a thread, social media reactions. The first four Agatha all along episodes are a strong sequel to WandaVision as they have their own identity. The songs are great. Catherine Hahn and Aubrey Plaza's dynamic is electric. Deborah Jo Rupp brings the laughs, but this is the scariest MCU project to date. Weekly theories are back. Agatha all along has a slow start, but gets rolling by episode two's end. It's more mature and spookier than expected. Catherine Hahn and Aubrey Plaza are fantastic, especially together. I fear the middle may be redundant, but I hope it stays engaging and fun. Enjoyed the first four. So pretty much if you go and read all these reviews, they all say the same thing. This is the best Marvel show ever. There's not a bad review here when you go through these. And of course, we have to find, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Grace Randolph. I've seen four episodes. Which is you are not ready. Peak hashtag Marvel hashtag Disney plus content returns with a hashtag one visual vision level mystery and a celebration of witchcraft. Halloween starts Wednesday night. Be sure to join me for full coverage. I expect that from grace. My favorite one here though. I have to find it is racial Leishman, the Mary Sue. Must be the season of the witch, baby. Hashtag Agatha all along is the perfect continuation of Westview and everything my witchy soul needed. A perfect blend of Marvel lore for the witchy season, and I cannot wait to see the rest of the series. I mean, I get it. You have to form your own opinion of the show. I'm not going to tell you not to watch it. I would not tell you not to watch it. If you want to watch it, great. If you like it, great. I'm just pointing out that we have another show where the message is more important than the story. And it is the Acolyte 2.0. So it'll be interesting to see what the critics say versus what the audience says. So there you go. Agatha all along drops tomorrow. Comment down below. You going to watch it? You're not going to watch it? Let me know. While you're at it, please take the time to hit that thumbs up. Smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Um, helps promote my channel, get my channel, you know, promoted to more people. And if you're new here and you haven't already, and you like what I'm covering, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you don't miss a video with that. I thank you for watching and I will see you.